All right, welcome to my review of Bose 700 noise cancelling headphones. Um, this is going to be a very short video. I've done uh, reviews on um, headphones and watches. That's mostly of my tech interests, uh, mostly sports watches and not really smart, smart watches and also uh, headsets, um, earphones and earbuds as the like. So um, I'm mostly going to be focusing on um, uh, looks primarily the pricing uh, noise cancelling audio quality uh, build quality comfort and then I'd give my own final verdict so this is a black headphones that I've got uh, uh, when it was on sale the last Labor Day uh, obviously I opened it this is not an unboxing video so I'm just gonna get along with it just for the presentation and the looks like that aside uh, firstly coming to looks uh, we can all agree I think or you know majority of the people can agree that this is one of the best looking headphones out there along with the new Sony ones I think um, there's also the Microsoft Surface ones that I don't know if they've released yet or not but I don't see many people wearing them so this one and the Sony ones are the most popular ones that I see outside not really much due to the pandemic right now but I do see sometimes at least uh, these headphones, the ones in white as well, they're pretty popular. So looks wise, um, these are one of the best looking uh, headphones as you can see. Uh, sleek in black color. This is the only color that I found on sale because most of the white ones were sold, but I don't mind getting a black one. So that's what I got. Now, the next thing that I want to uh, address the elephant in the room is the price of these headphones. And I purchased this in Canada, so uh, I'm going to talk about Canadian pricing. I don't know. I think it's um, 350 or 400 US dollars. I think it's 400 US dollars, but you could probably buy it on sale for um, 350. But in Canada, when I bought it, uh, it was um, it was on sale for around 450 Canadian or 435. I can't really remember, but 440 to 470. But that was the range that I bought it and I thought it was a good deal so I bought it. I don't usually see post noise cancelling headphones going down very much. The QC2, uh, noise cancelling QC2 headphones haven't gone down in discount for ages. So next one. So the pricing obviously that's elephant in the room. It's, it's too expensive and I've had these for a, around a week. That's it. So I don't really know if I'm going to return it or not because the reasons for returning are not because of the price it's there are some things that I'm going to talk about soon so obviously these are specialized in noise cancelling so I'm going to talk about the noise cancelling a little bit <clears throat> this is one of the best noise cancelling I did use uh, both uh, QC 2s one of my friends device there they were pretty good too but this uh, this pair the new whatever technology that Bose is using has taken noise cancelling to another level but I also use it to compare I have uh, office headsets that I use uh, they're Plantronic ones they're usually made for office they offer nothing I don't even know why they're called noise cancelling but this is something totally different so and then for noise cancelling I did use it in an airplane so last week I traveled to a different place uh, I know during pandemic but again had to travel and I used them for uh, in-flight entertainment so what I had noticed was, I think that was weird, and I don't know if it happens in other headsets because this is the first time that I've wore a noise cancelling headset on an airplane. Uh, during takeoff and during landing, uh, there is a there's a noticeable um, uh, noise, uh, let's say, uh, as if you know if you're watching a TV and suddenly you lose the connection and it goes buzz or uh, you know intermittent buzz noises that happen. And I thought it was weird. Uh, uh, but again, like I don't know, it could happen on all the devices that have noise cancelling. But you know, tell me in the comments if it happens in any uh, all the devices. So that's what I thought. Noise cancelling on a whole, perfect, almost close to perfect. But I did see that one issue. Uh, going to audio quality, obviously, Bose has their equalizer audio quality, um, which is I mean, their self equalizing audio audio is what they call because you can't really uh, have any app to uh, address that equalizer settings. Usually Bose has an app now um, on their, uh, I mean, a phone app that is a little bit better than the regular app that they used to have previously for, say, the SunSport Free uh, headset. I think right now what they have is Bose Music. I don't know if I can improve the brightness right here. Uh, so one of the issues, uh, and I think a lot of reviewers mentioned this, 
was that uh, it takes a while for um, you know for your headset to connect to the Bose app. I mean, they connect to your phone, uh, previously paired device phone or laptop very easily, but when the headset is on and if you try to uh, get into the app, um, they, they have a hard time connecting it. And I only had it once, that issue. Right now, it, as you can see, it connected really quickly as soon as I turned the headphone on. So that, that, was, that was pretty quick, but usually that's what I noticed in other reviews. But here you have some other features such as noise. You can adjust the noise canceling levels. You can uh, choose uh, favorite um, noise canceling levels. You can choose the volume here, but why would you go to the app? You could just do it with touch controls. And you could use, you could see the source where it's uh, is it connected to phone or, um, or a laptop as well. And you've got some tips to how to do the uh, touch control. So there's voice assistant, but that's not a touch control that I think is, there's a dedicated button here as you can see. Uh, I think this is it. I think this is a, a voice assistant. Uh, I usually have Google on all the time. And um, this is for turning it on, I think, yes. And then for phone calls, you can uh, use um, on the right side of the cup, you can double tap and you can answer a phone, double tap and you can uh, uh, you can cut the call. <clears throat> so all these touch controls are fancy, but I really want to focus on the most important um, aspects like build quality, like audio quality and noise cancelling. So moving on to build quality, uh, like as is the case with most Bose products, the build quality is awesome. I don't know about the choice of having to move this on a stick cup basis. I don't know how durable this is going to be. And I've seen this device release for around a year and I haven't seen any complaints or reviews about complaints uh, online at least, at least from what I've seen, any complaints about this uh, falling apart, these the stick stem on the cup kind of approach. But they do seem nice. Um, it's not really metal. I can say that it's definitely plastic. I think uh, it's hard plastic on the sides as well. And this is plastic as well. I don't see a lot of metal usage, I don't think. So the build quality still is super good. They, even though it's plastic, it looks like it's hard quality plastic. So the biggest issue that I have is what we're gonna talk about next is comfort. <clears throat> so I don't know if I have a big head or a wide head. I, I, I would like to assume that I have a normal sized head. Uh, when I put it on uh, for an hour, I'm fine. Uh, two hours, uh, uh, there is uh, some kind of discomfort that starts and then there's a three hour mark where I'm like, I have to take them off. I don't know if it's just me, but that's why that's one reason I think of it. I'm thinking of returning it. I still haven't made a decision, but um, after three hour mark, I don't think I can put them on, on my ears. So there is a bit of tightness. Uh, I tried to adjust these, um, you know, up and down, but I don't think that makes any difference um, in, in, in actually how tight the cups are as to the height. So that's one uh, big issue that I have. Uh, I would even be looking at getting a QC uh, if it's more comfortable, actually. I'll, I'll go to the shop and I'll try it out to see how that works. And the last one, um, you know, obviously my final verdict, what do I think of these headphones? To be honest, they look um, awesome. The noise cancelling is pretty good. The audio quality, uh, as with Bose, is awesome. I'm not an audiophile. I can't speak to the highs and lows. So all I can do is hear and if it sounds good, it, it sounds good to me. And I always compare Bose to Sony or uh, Jabra's or uh, JBL's and I think both sounds better than those. Um, I don't know, Sony uh, Audio-Technica, there might be some audio files that like them, but I haven't really tried Audio-Technica. So the build quality is awesome again. Comfort is the biggest biggest issue. And so my final, final word would be, if you have the money to spend on, on, on such a big device and if you are traveling in an airplane all the time and if you need noise cancelling, if you use it for your office all the time and you need uh, noise cancelling, then go for it. You know, it's it's kind of got that good balance of sound, looks, noise cancelling, uh, and um, you know, audio quality. But I don't think this is just my opinion. I don't think it's as comfortable, at least for me. And I don't know how other people are gonna feel about the comfort. So I've tried other headphones. Um, I've had them on for three to four hours. I've had issues before. I can't say that this is exclusive to this headset. But uh, you know, it's. It, there's been a lot of development in the size and comfort of this and I think they shouldn't actually cause that that big of an issue in two to three hours of usage. So that's my word, guys. It's a good headphone. Uh, I don't know if it's worth the price, uh, that which is 450 Canadian and maybe 350 USD right now. But um, all in all, if you have the money, go for it. 
if you don't uh, have that much to spend, I would rather spend it on um, the Sony's. I think Sony's are cheaper. Or I would also spend it on something really cheaper, like Skull Candy, even, you know. If, if you're not really uh, looking for that much of perfection in noise cancelling. So that's, there you go guys, that's my verdict. That's my video. Please uh, be sure to like and subscribe. It hasn't been, it has been a while since I posted videos, but I'll be posting even more right now. So I have some pretty good ideas. Uh, please do like and subscribe, which is, which is what makes me uh, more motivated to do videos like this. If you have any questions about the headset, please do ask me on the, uh, in the comments. Thanks.